in this video i'll share 13 unique app you should download for your mac and for the best part about this all apps are absolutely free so now let's jump with the video but the first app is called hyper okay just know this may aka sending a link from an iphone to your mac area really easy so just know for this you have to download hyper uh, a dock on both devices including the mac and also the iphone now after that uh, let, let's say i open up like a uh, safari and then send any link uh, let's say i go to edu.com and then i just send this just tap on share after that you're gonna go down and then you're gonna see right here this is gonna say send to mac after that just give it like a three to four second and then you're gonna see it's gonna uh, open up your mac so it's gonna open the a uh, default browser then it's gonna go to edu.com how cool is that for the next step it's called only switch so we're just gonna get all all this uh, features in, into one thing so it's like it's just like a, in another control center so look at this so this is gonna be the default one you're gonna see here uh, lots of stuff with just the basic one but if you go here you're gonna get a bunch of more that all the other stuff you need to get access to these if you open up your actual setting on the mac to access get access to some of these but things with this you're gonna get access to uh, to your menu but look at this i can automatically hide the menu uh, i can do the same thing for dog there's an a, a, a night shift i can uh, meet the device i can do the, uh, the dark mode or the uh, light mode which here in the bottom you can see empty trash if you just tap on clear it's gonna empty the trash as well so how cool is that Okay, for the next step, it's called HC Cal, and this is only one job to bring your actual calendar to your menu bar. So for for the calendar, it's gonna be a full calendar. You can also sync your Apple calendar, so it's gonna sync with your Apple calendar. See in the bottom left, you're gonna see a plus. If you just tap on that, you can add a new event, and then with this, if you add something, it's gonna go to your Apple calendar directly. Then if you just tap on over here, it's gonna open your Apple calendar. How cool is that? Just know this app is really simple, but it has only one job. Okay, so for the next app, it's called uh, Evalza, because I got no clue if I'm saying that right. But things, it have only one job. So if you have like a multiple browser that you, you use, so you can actually, if you open up anything, you can actually open the, uh, the thing from the offset you want. So for me, uh, for now, I have a Safari, but things, I also use Chrome and also use Brave. So let's say I want to switch, I just tap on that, and then it's gonna switch to that. So anytime if I open any link, it had to open a link, it's gonna uh, go, uh, so for format for format other than using it on safari open up on safari it's gonna open up the uh, app because i picked it but things if you want to do chrome i like it and do that as well for the next step is called app cleaner and this is only one job to clear any app e1 so uh, let's say i want to like remove this so i open up my thing i just open up my application and then i to re remove a uh, let's say i need to remove this app right here so just drag it down then you can see all the stuff that's gonna find on the thing and then it, it's gonna show the size as well all after that we just tap on it, remove then for that app is gonna be gone uh, uh, let's say i need to remove uh, uh, another app and so then i just drag it over here then it's gonna find this just tap on remove and it's gonna be gone as simple as that so with this you can remove uh, any app uh, from the application so if you have any random app you should they did drag that thing down then tap on a remove and then it's gonna be gone next app is called hand mirror so this is actually pretty useful so if you're actually go you're gonna go on a zoom call or, or, or a google meet or even a facetime and then if you check yourself for this is gonna show on your menu bar after you just tap on that and it's, it's gonna turn on your camera so it's gonna give you like a, a preview so you can like check yourself and then after that you can uh, go and do anything so just know it's gonna use the first time camera if you want you can actually use the iphone camera as well so this is just to quickly like you quickly like check yourself like a baby before like you like you joining zoom or, or even a first time then for the next app it's called shorter and this is a screenshot taking app just know it is actually pretty useful just know, and it is pretty simple as well so if, so if you need to take a screenshot you have to do command shift and s after this you can take a screenshot but things that that is the basic part right but things you can actually you can actually add, add something let's say i to add an arrow if you if you want you can make this smaller bigger if you want to change to any color even there's a customer as a, a one thing but not for the custom color you have to pay but things for all the basic color you can do the basic color you can make it bigger smaller there's text you can do with shapes there's a lesson to do a rectangle make a different color may make the thing bigger or smaller it's, it's just this is a simple uh, screenshot taking up for the next app it's called Slico and it's a music player app and then look at this it actually looks pretty dope and if you just tap on the three dot so over here if you hover over it obviously you can custom you can control it you can a play pause it you can go on the next track but things over here you can choose anything you can use apple music you can use box itunes and over here for the size you can make this smaller so it's gonna be like that. If you want, you can make it medium large. And if you just play it, it actually gonna play the music. So for, for because it's a copyright music, that's why 
I actually can play the music, but it just it actually works. And over here, it actually do, does look pretty. Dope. And then you can actually put this. I'm gonna put that right there. So you can put put this to the bottom. You can put this to the right. You can put it in the that bottom. So uh, so for 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 me, I'm gonna put it right there. For the next step, it's called hidden bar. So over here, you're gonna see this arrow right here. If you just tap on that, all, all the for the menu is gonna be clean. There's no. Uh, I actually set this uh, uh, as that. So over here, if you want to add any app, if you just drag it down, if you just hold command and then if you just drag it down, then if you drag in between this line right here. So with this two line, the line you see right here, if you, the app is over here, it's gonna show up right there. But things, if you actually open up the app, and then over here, if you say, oh, oh, if you pick the last one and then pick it for five seconds so after so after the five second is done you're gonna see for the menu is gonna just for the menu is gonna be gone like that it's gonna make your life so much easier so for for this for this video i just have that off about things for, for you i think make sure you just pick that so you can do like your like your five second ten second even like it 30 second as well for the next step it's called clop and then this have only one job to make any file to make it smaller and that's it so let's say if you have like a big file it's gonna using the step it's called clop it's gonna make the size smaller just not for the uh, for the color is gonna stay the same but things for the size it actually gonna go down for the next step it's called alpha five so for for, for other than using the apple spoiler just not apple spoiler is good it uh, is basically get a job done but things with the alpha it actually take this to the whole new, new level so uh, for this you can actually use the same control format i have it to option a spacebar I do that and up to that, let's say I need to type in anything. So I can just type in like a Google or, or type in a G and then type in and then put dot in. So I can type something and it's gonna by just typing G, I can actually search something on Google. I If I just type in G again, I can also do thing on Amazon. I can do the Wikipedia as well. So I can also do it as a YouTube as well. So you can do all, all of this. And then also in the, you know, there's a thing so you can open up the calculator so you can obviously do the your basic stuff so you can open up a calculator you can open up any game you can you can even do simple uh, like math as well so you, you so with this there's a ton of thing you can do you can open up any like file as well so it does not uh, then for, for 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 all of us these are actually customizable so if you actually open up the app there's it turns up uh, like setting you can change it's uh, right here and then just tap on the performance and then after that it's gonna open the setting so over here so this is the thing you can change over here there's the features so you, over here you can do all of this you can do exercise folders images it is a document so with this you can get access to all the thing you can even do success for all, all, all file over here there's a up thing so you can use the safari bookmark so all these are actually customizable and all the is a feature you can actually do so there's a system so you can do the skin saver you can show task if you just if you just type in this and then click on show or Tash. So if you just type in Tash, it actually gonna show the Tash. Just tap on Tash, and it's gonna open the Tash. So there's a, there's a, all these uh, these are custom that you can actually do. And over here for the uh, calculator, you can actually use this as well to get the answer as well. So all these are actually pretty cool. So if you just tap on the previews, you're gonna get more more stuff as well. So would this it actually make, take a spotlight to the next level? Okay, so for the next step, it's called Paste Paul. So for the next step it's called paste poll and then for the next step it's called paste poll so this app is uh, for a for the next step it's called paste poll and it's a, it's a clip for the next step it's called paste poll and this is a, a clip on my manager so any, anything anytime if you copy something it's gonna show, show up right there so let's say i go to youtube.com and then i copy this just copy that and then over here, if I just tap on the press tool, you can see it's going to show up right there. Not that. I did open up a different app. Not that. So, so after, after I copy it, and now if you open up the app, you're going to see it's going to show it's going to show the stuff in that app. So it's right there, and it's going to show the thing I actually copied. So, it, so not only is it going to show me the link, it's going to... Uh, is gonna show me the as well and we just tap on that it's gonna be copied as well for the next and the last app is called rocket so for this you can actually use the emoji in in any place you want let's say even let's say i'm leaving on the desktop you just tap in shift and this dot right here and then it's gonna pull this up so and after that if you just tap in a name let's say i do a smiley face and then you're gonna see it's gonna show up right here that's not there's a it turns up other thing look at this you're gonna get a bunch of these let's say if you just tap in like in 
so hey one second let's just uh, let's just open that up and go back and you can you can get all of these just know there's a 150 emoji it's gonna you can access it by just do, doing this let's say i open up like a safari then i can actually access this but in the safari as well just type something just do that and then after that it's gonna show up right here and then i can just type in a, a emoji uh, as simple as that Okay, so if you can see that video, make sure you like the video and don't forget to hit the subscribe button. And then finish my last video on 10 apps you should download for your iPhone. Make sure you click on that video right here and peace out.